Well, I think Asheville is known for festivals and a lot of street festivities. So to be able to come downtown with people who look like you and love the same music, enjoy the same food, and have time and space to be together and be in fellowship, I think that's the most memorable thing and the most appreciated thing about Goon Bay. Being able to share faith with, with your family and community and having that, that time carved out within that year calendar where you knew that you're gonna have, you know, some festivities outside, dancing, good music, beautiful people, eclectic styles, you'll see new hairstyles, you'll see hot clothing, and you know, you get a little hot mess too, but you know, we're all together and it's all love. But you know, um, the diversity of music, your gospel music to, you know, your really authentic, Caribbean music. I mean, it's just, it just really expresses who we are as black people. I would say that Goombe has morphed a little bit and with the change in location, that's always uncomfortable for a lot of people and just human beings in general, we have trouble dealing with change. And not to say that um, we shouldn't feel uncomfortable with change because the block was our Mecca and it still will remain our Mecca. I don't want us to lose sight of that, but because it has moved, I think um, we should kind of embrace that change and understand that we cannot be pocketed, we can be put to the side, but to be out and more visible, embracing exactly who we are and not relenting in any way and not being swayed, but being authentically African-American in a larger space. I really appreciate that about Goombay and where Goombay has gone um, over the years.